coming back, this is where drama started. Mm -hmm. So I went to WhatsApp. But I think he was not keen enough to see what he has sent. So, Paleju, you see the way WhatsApp messages come, Paleju? They pop on the screen. Yes. Mm -hmm. So there was a message up, Paleju. A lady was asking her, why don't you want to give birth with your wife but me? Early this year, I saw now. It's one year. My dad has been silent for me. He doesn't reply to me. He just blew to me. So I decided to write my whatever happened in form of an SMS. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the only thing he replied to that chat is, it's okay. Bye. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, my full name is Ni Ann Bilha Wangoi Wahome. Wahome is my dad. Okay. I became a teacher, private school teacher, without results. I was the youngest teacher, so I became a teacher. I taught for one year. Mm -hmm. I was teaching English, mathematics, and science. Mm -hmm. um, after one year, um, I got um, my first love. That was the, my first love that I got. Um, he was the son to the proprietor of the school. So we mm -hmm. fell in love. And uh, when I decided to leave the school after one year, not really deciding, but this was my parents because my mom's school where she was teaching was not far from where I, uh, where the school I was teaching was. Mm -hmm. So my mom could see there is something going on and he was a student to my mom. Uh -huh. But this time after I left, I didn't know what I was expecting. Mm -hmm. I was so close with my dad. I'm a daddy's girl. So I was so close with my dad. I told my dad I'm pregnant. And it was not news. He told me I was expecting you to tell. I was waiting oh. for you to tell me. Mm -hmm. My mom took me all. Actually, I think I went for. You see, this is July. This is, I'm around how many? March, April, May, June, July. I'm around five months pregnant. Yes. So I have around four months to go. I went for five clinics. And all these clinics, my mom will go with me. Wow. All of them. Mm -hmm. She supported. Yes. So on 28th November, uh, that's 2010, I found a text. Hi, I wanted us to talk. I'm due in the next uh, 17 days. Mm -hmm. Nothing he has done. No, nothing, like literally nothing. My mom, they had already enrolled me to NHF because yeah. I, I could not be in their cover because I was above 18 and so they enrolled me. So even I going to hospital to deliver was... I used my MHF, so mm. it covered for me. So I said, um, you want to come back to our lives? Sawa, and they switched on my phone. He sent me 500 shillings. I was like, for what? Mm -hmm. When he was, she was two days old, he came to hospital and gave me 3,000. So that was, a, it, she's 11 years now. That was the last day at the morning. But uh, when I was in my second year, mm -hmm. I didn't like going to the school, see you. So I was going to a church that was nearby. Uh, that was Deliverance Church Neri. Mm -hmm. And uh, I joined praise and worship. And then there's this guy, because after service, after first service, second service, between the first service and the second service, the praise and worship would go take tea just to prepare for the second one. Mm -hmm. So this guy was in the kitchen. So I remember cutting Dania. Me would know I would cut the whole Dania, like uh, like I would cut and throw the, this particular chini and cook the leaves. So I saw him explain to his a chef, he was a chef. So he explained to us, like, you use this one to garnish, this one you cook. Oh. So I, I got interested and I'm like, okay, this guy is handsome. Mm -hmm. he's, uh, he's just cool, collected, he's just humble. Mm -hmm. So I, I decided to, to, like, give it a chance and we dated. Come 2019 is when now he decided to make it official. Remember this time? I think I, it's now that I'm seeing there were red flags, but mm -hmm. I ignored. So we were to put a business. And like to agree, this is a business. What do you want? Beauty shop, sour. And I wrote down all the details, all the prices and the things that you require, and I gave him the list. Kumbe, after I send him the list, he gives it to another lady who was in the same church I was going in here. Mm -hmm. We have mutual friends because we came from the same church, only to hear that they had something with this lady. So we went there and saw the business and got the lady. Do you know that business for three months made only 150? And the reason why I didn't follow up is because from the word go, you didn't tell me about it. I just yeah, went for the respect of the mother because you've told me to go and see. But every time you ask, she tells you 150. She, she's making 100. She has made only 150 shillings. Okay, me, I just went, saw the business and it was closed after three months. So mm -hmm. as a process, I planned my wedding. So this is after, that's one year dating. So we went to, we went home, uh, 20 April, 2019. They did the introduction. So from there, we, were, we started planning our wedding. We did our wedding on uh, 14th, uh, 15th, 14th December, 
2020. Mm -hmm. No, 2019, 2019. Actually, I looked for my honeymoon venue for myself. Let me say my honeymoon was all alone. I was all alone. <laughs> then we came back to Nairobi. Coming back, this is where drama started. Mm -hmm. So me, I just got curious because uh, he's so much on phone. What is happening? So I went to WhatsApp. The first conversation I found was, uh, the first conversation was, who is she? Mm -hmm. So he was, who is she? And replied, my colleague. Okay, got angry. I took, I made sure there's photos that people would send us. So I took one where we were mm -hmm. taking vows. Put it as a profile picture, put it as status so that he can answer that question. His profile picture? Yes, and even he, like I changed his phone. So I then went again, that same night, I went and saw another, another conversation. Mm -hmm. I, actually, you're lucky I didn't cheat on you with a girl who was around. I'm like, oh, so all the time you were in thicker, you had that lady, and now, now I started connecting the dots. You tell me good night to show you and then good night. This is only just less than a week. No, this what? is now the second week. Like three ladies, we to talk. Ah, no, I said, this is enough is enough. So, did you ask him? Yes, what was his response? I asked who are these. I don't know, they were just flattering to you. They're not true. I married you. I just said in the altar, so you leave all the rest. I'm, leave all the rest and these charts are during first summer during the wedding day. What? And so these messages were for that day. During your wedding? Yes. See, I've seen the charts. I went to the, to the Gaina. Mm. So he was telling people that you can't have yes. kids. Yes. Do you see the way WhatsApp messages come, Paleju? They pop on the screen. Yes. Mm -hmm. So there was a message up, Paleju. A lady was asking her, why don't you want to give birth with your wife but me? <laughs> so I asked him, who is this? I'm like, Can you tell me the truth? Kambia is a friend. Mm. Or oh, a friend. Kambia, what did you tell her? Nothing. No, I had the evidence of the screenshot. Mm -hmm. Kambia, what was this? To no, know we were just flattering. Then if it is flattering and you want to prove me wrong, bring your phone. Yeah. I went through the conversation. Aki apple, like from top to bottom. Hey. The lady has a kid. And actually, up to date, I have that lady's number. Mm -hmm. The lady has a kid. Um, that's one lady. We are now dealing with the fourth lady. And how many months into marriage This now? is in July. Because now I found another conversation. That now, uh, as you give birth, mm. now there is another one that I'm lying. Take her to a Gaina. Gaina is not, is not cheap. Mm -hmm. They have the report. He says, no, that's all not what he did. Ah, Kasama, enough is enough. I had a house help. And the house, I remember I saw something queer. And then they see the house girl from here and at quite remote from here. This girl had stayed with her for three years. Mm. No, I'm gonna, this is not okay. So I told the lady, now that I'm working from home, let me just give you a break where then that too. Mm. But she, 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 she was a very nice girl. She got married because even she talks to us. Okay. But on that December, if, if I remember, on, after a lockdown, I decided to go to church the first day. And I remember making a prayer to God and told God, God, if this marriage was to, to end, yeah. please do it now. Let it not go to 2021. If it was to continue, just make things right now. So on 28th November, Mm -hmm. That's when I packed. I said, enough is enough. What made you decide this is enough? Now, there's nothing important to talk in this house. Okay. It was Chana, was Chana, was Chana, was Chana, lady after lady after lady. Was he in the house that time you were packing? Of lady? course. He slept even in that same, same house. And I'm waking up, kufunga your mattress na your kitanda. Because I told him one thing. This is what I want you to, to do for me. If... What is the uh, comes who is that Mary? That lady I'll come in the corner. It's an elderly lady. Mm. Uh, what are you going to do with Mary? No, ni be a shara. Mm. Ni job. Now, if you want to prove me lo wrong, just show me the messages. And if uh, the perspective I have about that lady is that you're not in is like you are just in business, I will remain. Ni tapanga kwa nyumba. But if it is not so, then let me go. So while you were living with this man. How was the relationship between him and your daughter? Like a stepfather, um, stepdaughter? Okay, my baby loves people. Like, mm -hmm. so you could meet her, I could meet her dad, dad, dad. So on April 20, last year, 2021, I went on, on leave. I'd not gotten time. My job is so, so, so. Info. Yes, mm -hmm. so, you know, I work from morning to evening. So when I went on leave, this is when I now started reflecting. Mm -hmm. I would cry, cry like, why? And actually I'm not crying because I've left my marriage. 
I'm crying because I feel I chose the wrong, wrong person. Me, I was just very ready to to be in a family. I love family so much. And uh, now this is somebody I thought, mm. like, whatever I knew about him is totally different. No, Tana, invading my family. Ah, and I can't allow. Mm. Then telling my daughter not to call you dad. Ah, no. Me, if you want to mess something, please mess with me, but not with my girl. That one don't do. Mm. Because I'll, I'll be harsh on you. So I felt depressed. I got to total depression. Like, I would hear him too, mentioning the word dad. I cry. Like, at I'm total in a when I turn at the I cry like I would literally cry. Then I remember, now I started reflecting. My dad, since I did my wedding, he doesn't call me. If he does, unless I text and it is something he wants. Now comes from the day I left my house up to date. My dad ha has never talked to me. What is that? Why do you think this is happening? Okay, I really don't know what he told my dad because, as I said, I'm a daddy's girl. We are very open with my dad. Mm. So what he told my dad, I really don't know what he told my dad. I remember I would tell my dad I want to talk to him and maybe explain to him what happened. Mm. But he doesn't reply to my chats. And I remember on 6th December, that day that we went home, Mm -hmm. As much as he didn't talk to me, because even after your time, I would I would cry like your time out and mm -hmm. Okay, my dad would still remain a dad. I bought a phone, <laughs> and I remember I made sure in front of all my family mm -hmm. I gifted my dad that phone. But sometimes I see like, <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> yeah, I gifted my dad a phone. Sometimes I see like I wish he stayed with the kabamba he had, because you see with WhatsApp when you send somebody a message, you're able to tell this person has, has read. read. Yeah. So he normally he would read and blue trick me, but he's not answering me until I had to 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 share it with my mom, of which nobody knows my story in our family. Mm. So my mom had to share with my dad's sister, the firstborn. And because the sister wanted to hear from me, I had to open up to her. Yeah. So he told my dad, but still my dad did not talk to me. So I said, no. He meant, that was early this year. Mm. So let's, that is early last year, that is. So this year, early this year, I saw no, it's one year. My dad has been silent on me. He doesn't reply to me, he just blew to me. So I decided to write my, whatever happened in form of an SMS. Mm. The only thing he replied to that chat, it, it's okay. Bye. Oh, no. <laughs> That's the last time you heard from him. The last time I saw my dad was on 6th December. Before that, I saw him during my wedding. So in the spam of two years, I've only seen my dad twice. And that is the only SMS he replied to me. It's okay. Bye. What would you like to tell him? What would you like him to know about your experiences and your situation? You can talk to him. I love my dad so much. I love him so much. Being that he was the first person to understand me when I got pregnant, when most of the parents normally chase their girls. Because even when I was expectant, I remember he left everything and he stayed with my siblings. <laughs> I have no issues with him. Mm. I just want to know. I was leaving my toxic marriage, maybe, hurting him. <laughs> because I can't say it is finances, because I didn't ask a single finance from my dad. Mm to finance my wedding. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't think even my parents can say kuna shilingi wali try to finance my wedding. Because me, I was like, me, I'll do for you everything, Nataka. Mm -hmm. If it is dressing, I'll dress you. Because even today, it hurts me when somebody, because now even it hurts me double. My dad, my kid doesn't have anybody to call a daddy. Has no father mm -hmm. figure. At the moment, <sighs> when you try to talk to your mom, is she saying, that you know why that your dad is behaving this way. I'm one person who keeps things to myself, and uh, 
kuwa na nyamaza because you see even I'm not the one who broke this news to my mom because even when I went to the depression they don't know I went to depression total depression I was I was taking my job is one that took me for counseling oh. I was on sleeping pills when I bought my car my baby would pray every day literally na jua sina pesa but she would pray mom god give mom money and even the month that I bought a car I didn't have my, I don't know where it came from just like that but I told should pray that is the thing the first thing you should pray actually my baby is called precious rose and it's not just a name um she's just a precious baby and uh when i gave birth to her nearly pitia so much with her and just like a rose flower by the time in a flower used to be that rose flower who i made dunga dungwa imedungwa and after all it will just be a bit of flower so that is my baby for me yeah. yeah so that is she's just she knows i love her nakapenda tu i love her like i'm just in this life i'm giving her the best the best looking back when you started off if you knew all these things that you know now would you have changed anything do you regret any taking any steps you know through your marriage dating life everything Okay, even knew the true you know definitely you don't know the true colors of, of somebody until yeah. you get into the same house with this person but if these things were to be revealed before i wouldn't mm. i wouldn't okay there are things when your marriage is not easy you sit down and talk but now where you're talking and nothing is changing because yeah. i love and even right if i ever get somebody who is going to love me mm. and i'm going to love back and love my kid i'll still get married because i love family setup i love family mm. and i love to have the best of it but this time around not with uh, somebody who is starting right from fresh no mm. Thank you.